anywhere out in public and they like Gilly and I'm like, I, I'm act like I don't hear. That ain't even my fucking character. Okay. Okay. And bougie. Uh-huh. You just called a nigga bougie? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't go in on me. Do you know you as a woman? Yes. And I don't hit women, but you call me bougie again. Oh. Kick you in the center of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Fucking teach these fucking old ass men something for real. Hey, I don't. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I don't even. When I give out game, my game is to the young niggas. If okay. you older and you accept it and you get some game from it, that's on you. I don't give a fuck about educating no old niggas. Okay. Because ten out of ten of you niggas is stuck in your ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't want to hear nothing anyway. Exactly. So I'm talking to the young niggas. Real shit, though. If some old niggas like, damn, that was some real shit. I can get something from that. And they take it. That's what's up. Congratulations. You not like the rest of these old niggas out here. I feel you. But old niggas are stuck in their ways. Uh-huh. uh-huh. I, I, don't, I don't give game for the old niggas. Okay. I give game to the young niggas. Yeah. And that's what's up. Because everybody fuck with you. And- Why wouldn't you fuck with me? You a real one. <laughs> I don't give a nigga a reason not to fuck with me. If you hate on me, then that's just because you insecure with the nigga you is. I feel you. I feel you. But I love you, and I love Toop. She is a baddie for real. You locked up. You what? locked up. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Locked up? Yes, you did. You scored a good one. But I want her to beat my face. Let me tell you something. It's all about how you raise them. Oh. See, first is how you raise them. Uh-huh. Second is how you glaze them. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're absolutely right. You're, hey, guess what? what? If your 42 nigga, year old nigga was raising you right, he probably glazing you right. <laughs> But he ain't raising you right. Uh-uh. You know why? Why? Because if he was raising you right, you wouldn't be on fucking live with me right now. You absolutely right. You'd be like, no, Billy, I'm just tapping in. I got an old head. I love him so much. Oh my god, I love him. Uh-uh. I love Leon. He's so fucking fire. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> but you. you know he an old nigga. Hey, you know he an old nigga, nigga named Leon. <laughs> I love Leon. He's a- I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. I am not fucking with you. <laughs> you be having me cracking the fuck up. I'm gonna keep what it all the real. fuck is your cousin at? You had me right now. Like he was my man. I'm like, why the fuck would you leave your cousin with your nut ass? Come back to Philly. I was cussing him out in his DM. I know he probably was like, who is this bitch? Oh, yeah, you crazy, crazy. I appreciate you tapping. It was a little bit money. <laughs> okay. All right, baby. Said your ex nigga messed up. You was his trash, you my treasure. Walked away and now you're glued up. <laughs> Oh my God! Give me that's the shit you be on. Oh Lord, you gotta pick. What is it? You keep playing. Yeah, I picked your ass. Hey man, you didn't even talk to me on my birthday, man. Tell me happy birthday. Happy birthday, baby. Yes, happy belated. (laughs) What's up, man? Y'all had us cracking up, boy. I was like, damn, she gonna say my my man bougie. He never bougie. She had me going in. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Wrong person. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dang, but. What you doing this morning? Man, you. I don't want to be. 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 I don't
Oh, yeah, my grandbaby at school. I got to, man. You know I turned 50 gilly. So, and and I, I still feel the same, so it doesn't matter. I still feel the same. So, I'm 40. You said you ain't doing And he makes me sick because he comes he comes too fast. That's the only problem I have with him. And it's so annoying. I'm like, you done? You're done? Let me tell you something. Just go and wallow DM, right? Uh-huh. Go, go and wallow DM and ask him when you get the Red Rangers from <laughs> <laughs> DM follow. Okay. Say, say, when we get off here, DM say, my boyfriend, he comes to you guys. Gilly told me to contact you about where to get the Red Rangers from. <laughs> All right. All right. He got Take care, love you. He got a whole book bag full of the motherfuckers. Uh, okay. Like, oh my God. April and look, April. it's been 15 years for us, so it's nothing new. It's been 15 years. Mm. I'm like, wait, hold on. And it's, wait, hold on. So you mean that nigga been empty in this old clip like that for 15 years? Yes. <laughs> so you saying a bitch gotta sit on the bed and jerk off and wait for the to come and they're like, stick it in, nigga, stick it in. There you go. So both of y'all get y'all off at the same time. Huh? Nah, but see, his father always told him, he was like, damn, then I schooled you. I told you, go in the bathroom, look at the back of your face. <laughs> I'm like, what? Call that nigga no. slingshot, huh? <clears throat> Yeah, he got a set of twins, hell yeah. Got a slingshot. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Listen, this nigga's on my motherfucking live, all in my DMs. So, but that's the wrong advice. What's wrong with the nigga? No, just and you book. gotta really, you know, even if a man is working, he working rather than nine to nine, ten to ten, eight to eight. You gotta take some time out for your life. You gotta take some time out for the people that's in your life. You gotta do something else with them besides that. You understand? Because you gonna wind up missing out. And they, I'm not going. Why would I sit still? And no, because and the nigga just tell it how it is. If you don't spend no time with your woman, treat her right, a nigga gonna end up striking your bitch like lightning. Man, he drove me to that man. <laughs> I'm so motherfucking bad. Hey, he drove you to the lightning. <laughs> he drove me. He drove me to chocolate and said, "Yo, he drove me. He drove me there and said, I'm gonna give you two hours." I said, "All right, I was going two days." Chocolate, fuck the Reese's peanut butter cups. Hey, you know what? We <laughs> that's one man that you know what? I really gotta say, you know, it really took. I thought about that, me being older, that was very wrong. I apologize to him for that. I really asked for his forgiveness for that. But that man drove me to see another man. You understand what I'm saying? Chocolate gave you that dick deck bar. Babe, yo, what you, you, babe, that man was long and strong. You better stop playing. He was, <laughs> he was slow. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm 52 and I still remember that shit. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, I heard you talking about people like getting bored with their relationships and shit. Right. And I definitely got bored with mine. It's like, I mean, when I first met him and shit, it was cool. Like, we was going out, dinner here, here. I mean, he was buying me shit. I was buying him shit. I mean, it was good. And then as time went on, it just, I ain't gonna lie, I got a little violent. Me, me and Bull started going back and forth. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> What's a little violent? Um, I mean, my car window got bust out. Uh, By him? Yeah. Wait, he yeah. bust your car windows? <laughs> yeah. You're crazy. Fuck? Wait, this was a dude or you was in a relationship with another woman? A dude, Gilly, a dude. <laughs> but he wouldn't say that. I'm just saying. Niggas busting car. What the, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I know. Bro, hold on, wait, hold on. What did he bust your car windows out for? Well, he told Come me. Come on, keep it real. Don't, don't be lying on this motherfucker. I'm telling keep you. My lips is dirty. I'm cool with it. Fuck all know. of that. What did he bust so, your fucking car windows out for? I'm. I wound up, um, he said he was in New York. So, I mean, I was a little irritated because he said he was in New York and didn't take, he was going to New York and didn't take me. So I'm like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, why you ain't invite me? Like, it's been all summer, nigga, and we ain't go nowhere. So, you know what I mean? That shit got me a little irritated, but I come up on his block and he's sitting down on the steps with some chick. So I get out the car and I got my girlfriends in the car and I stop. I'm like, yo, like, it's over. Like, is you serious? You out here with this girl that's standing third. Before you. Talking about, I'm like, um, basically, I came up on the block and he wasn't in New York, he was on the block with some jet. 
and that that's basically what happened. I mean, like even though um, I mean, I'm just I'm just bored with the nigga now. Like, it's material shit not making me happy. I mean, I done got a new job, a new car, new place, and I'm still just not. I'm still just not happy with him no more. Like, I mean, it won't even be going at it, but basically. He bust out my windows on some shit because we was uh, we was out there arguing and shit got heated. And shit happened. I mean, I am from West. I do live in West Philly though. So this shit, you know how I go out here sometimes. No, you pulled up. You lost your mind. He was out there with another chick. Y'all start rumbling. You and your girlfriend probably tried to roll on him and the chick. We did. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. We did, we did roll on her ass. I'm sorry. All right, go. Y'all jump on a bitch like five hyenas. <laughs> Y'all think it, you don't want to tell me the story. You want to bootleg give me the story. I got out there and then somehow my fucking wig came off. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you know how your fucking wig came off? <laughs> Y'all was out there acting like a fucking retarded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ain't going for We did get goofy. Like, I mean. I know y'all like, got goofy out there. Y'all and y'all all felt like nuts afterwards, didn't y'all? Mm hmm. Y'all all felt like nuts afterwards, didn't y'all? Yeah, we did. We we came back, got our wigs, and went home. <laughs> <laughs> we all came back for that shit. Like, my mom and them was like, that's a damn shame. Y'all out there acting like that. His mom was like, y'all. Y'all wrong, y'all wrong, y'all funny. Like, his mom was tripping because she lived downstairs. So, everybody with, it, with you came off and y'all had to leave to come back and get the wigs? Yeah, everybody had a wig on their name. Yeah. We all did. We was we was supposed to be going out having fun. We was actually dropping my girlfriend off at the strip club. She's supposed to work. So, I mean, because I don't think it's our work, but I mean, she wanted to go make some extra money. So, I was like, mm -hmm. I mean, All right, I appreciate you tapping in with me. It was nice talking to you. I know we get a chance to talk to you, so it was definitely nice. Tap in any time, little ma. All right. Yeah, I'm about to fall the fuck out, man. All the wigs came out. <laughs> the wigs expensive as shit. They double right back. You know, Start. What's up, baby? Nothing. What are you doing? What time is it in Korea? It is... It's like uh, almost one. Quarter to and, one. And you out and about? I just left the spa. No. <laughs> At one in the morning? Huh? At one in the morning? Yeah. <laughs> huh? It's They're open 24 hours. Uh, your mom went to a, a spa in Korea at one in the morning. Actually, I went at nine. You get your son right here. You was I at live. the spa for three hours. What's up, mom? It's a Korean bathhouse. It's like a you go and they wash you and scrub you and all that. Your mom went to the uh, the wishy washy joint. <laughs> it so let me ask you a question. Huh? So let me ask you a question. What's good for the goose is good for the gander, right? So if I what? went to a Korean bathhouse <laughs> at, at, at nine o'clock at night, and they come out that bitch to to well, one in the morning. First, first of all, it's like the guy you wouldn't go because the men would have to scrub you, and it's a nude place, so I know you wouldn't go. What you mean the men gotta scrub you? It's like women scrub the women, and then the it's not like no you. The women don't scrub the men. Why would a man have to wash him up, never man up? Um, that's just how it goes. Come on, son, get in the shower. I got to wash you up, champ. <laughs> You're so stupid. First of all, it's different. Like every culture is different. Like it's different. Too. Son, you know, you, you you part of you is Korean, son. So when you your mom would take you to the Korean bathhouse. They got a dude that's gonna wash you up and shit. You, you, what, what, what you, so what's the procedures for I this? I mean, well, like, usually, like, when kids are young, they go with their dads. Like, the dads go take their sons to the bathhouse. They wash. They get, I don't know. It's just the.
this thing. It's like a... Ain't no nigga wash you up though, right? Um, Ajima, an older lady. Uh, I'm Wait, the only it's so funny. She, like when she was giving me a massage, I like literally almost bust out laughing because she stood on my back. <laughs> she was like walking on my back. I was like, alrighty then. <laughs> Alright. Uh, how Korea is treating you? It's nice. It's nice. Mm. Is, they su is, uh -huh. the people is the people surprised you speak Korean? Sometimes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You miss me? Yes, I do. What time is it there? 11.50. No. Oh, so it's Two. Love you. Okay, there's no question before you get off here, too. What? If I was born, would you be with me still? If you was what? If I was born. Um, yeah, probably, because I love you. No, but what I'm saying, if my whole if my whole life consists of I just go to work, I come home, I go to sleep every day. I'll never take you nowhere, we don't do nothing. It's just I just go to work, come home, and go to sleep. That's it. Um, yeah, right here. Thank you. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, wait. Okay. Okay. Come on, Al. Make sure you got anything, man. I did. Shut up. Wait, I look so crazy because... I let her wash my hair, and you know, I have different hair than them. So <laughs> she was like blowing it out. Look at my hair; it looks like a hot mess. I blew it up. Yeah, I'm a flat iron it. Tell Miss Chuck I said hi. You'll say hi. She said hi. Yeah. I wonder if there's still people out here. Let me see. I'll tell you. I'm gonna walk. I'm gonna just gonna walk right here. I'll be right there. Wait, I'm mad she was outside waiting for me. <laughs> Oh, too funny. She ain't playing. Huh? She ain't playing. This is crazy. Oh, I think they're all closed. Oh, what are you about to do? You're about to leave to go shoot your movie, aren't you? Hmm? In a little bit. Huh? No. In a little bit. You hear me? Yep. I'll talk to you on a minute, bro. All right. Love you. Bye. You should, baby. Shut up. Bye. I'm so fucking lovable. Huh? I said you should, baby. I'm so lovable. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lot of right. kids out. I love you, baby. Come on, it's crazy. All right, baby. Love you, baby. All right, love you too. Bye. God sent me a sign from the stars above. I had to decide if you was the one. 
Put your feelings aside, we keep it low. E Rock, what's up, brother? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I have a story to tell today. I got a confession. No, I'm just playing. I just wanted to say how you doing. I'm oh, just where watching you, you. Where you from? Don't just start with me. You already know New Orleans. Oh, uh, New Orleans. I see you around. Yeah. I wish Take I had home. a story to tell like they do, but I don't. You don't, but your, your nigga act right, huh? No, I don't have a boyfriend. Why? Mm. Why? I'm okay. I, I, I know you're okay. You're living. You look like you're doing fine. I said, why? I don't have an answer. I know you get offers all the time. No. No, you ain't got nobody you dating, no? Nope. Wish I did, but I don't. But I'm okay. So what you do for pleasure? What you you? What? You do, what you do for pleasure? You get your own antennas, right? Yeah, I have a toy. Okay. My toy gets me together. I ain't worried about no man. Oh, okay. You know what you your toy don't got? No way. They're not having uh, sex with you that long. One, two, three, and they gone. Shit, where them niggas? Not shit. I don't know what type of niggas you talking about. Well, that's the stories I've been hearing. They ain't fucking long. Oh, okay. So the vibrator, as long as the dollar store got dollar batteries, I'm good. Oh, you buy a whole pack of them motherfuckers, huh? You run through a pack of 24 in a week. Sometimes I be about to kill myself. I be like, oh, Lord. Woo, is it going to be a fire? Oh, Lord, Jesus. Man, I hit that thing on three speed and that's it. I'm, I'm <laughs> off like an airplane. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's the magic speed, the number three, huh? Ooh, Lord that motherfucker, Jesus. hey, 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 what you, you gotta hear that motherfucker buzzing, huh? That's the best I ever had. That's the best I ever had. It's never failed me yet. You said you stick the whole vibrator in your ass and you don't hear no buzzing, huh? Ooh. Mm. I ain't never tried that one just yet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord, I might have to try it on Friday the 13th. That's something scary. Ooh. Ooh. Sam, you got my heart rate right up on this one. You stick a dirty ass. I'm, I'm going to have to try that. I ain't going to knock it till I try. I might kill my ass today on the 13th. Lord, I'll be going to the doctor with a vibrator in my ass on Friday the 13th. That's scary, Gilly. I don't know. Ooh. Mm. And I ain't got a man to get it out of me, so I don't know. I can't go to my cousins in them and say, I got a vibrator stuck in my age. Y'all need to help me. Uh -uh. Mm -hmm. Yo. I'm good on that. Tough, man. I appreciate you tapping in, though. All right. For real, right. man. I love my people from New Orleans. Right. What part of New Orleans are you from? Why? What part of New Orleans are you from? Uh, the West Bank. Oh, okay. You from the West Bank, huh? Believe well, you know, what? after the storm, everybody moved on this side. This is the yeah. side that didn't get damaged as bad. So. Yeah. All yeah. right. Talk to you soon. Give me some. Let me hit that. <laughs> All of that designer that I put you in, you loved it. you doing today I'm, I'm good how you doing i'm good i'm good i'm good thanks for accepting my request believe that how you feeling i'm feeling good calling to get some advice my dude follows you to kind of follow up on old head young boy oh you got an old age wild too lord he need to tap in he kill me if you know I'm on live right now and i supposed so, to be teleworking today so you so you got an old age wild too Yes, 45 years old. I don't know what to do with him. But what he keep doing? 
He wants to hang out with guys younger than him in the neighborhood, sitting on the block, drinking. Mm. He'd been home for about seven years, and I used to date him back when I was 19. Uh-huh. You know, I'm 35 now, so uh-huh. I'm different than when I was 19 and 35. You know, so I don't know. He wants to have kids, and I'm a little concerned. I don't think that's going to change old head young boy. You know, I think that's still going to remain the same. Yeah. So let me ask you, what you love about him? Um, his personality. Um, you see, know. That, that, see, you, it's going to be hard for you to. It's going to be hard <laughs> for you to get rid of him. When you love a nigga, how a nigga make you feel? Yeah. He make you feel younger. Let's keep it real. <laughs> Thirty five though. <laughs> but he make you feel twenty five some days like a fucking. Eight I know, like right. exactly. <laughs> Just like two. Yeah. She be like, I fucking hate this nigga, but she got to laugh. She like this nigga is fucking. I leave. I leave out the house sometimes and come back and she's like, I can't believe you said that dumb ass shit. I was laughing the whole fucking time you was going. Nothing is like when you got a nigga that got some personality. When you like his personality, he could be an ugly nigga, but if he got some personality and he hit you with some good dick, who you telling? Hallelujah, okay? That nigga look, that nigga look like Trey Songs when he fucking. <laughs> he don't look like Trey Songs, but he ain't ugly. <laughs> but one other thing, you know, we recently, uh, we've been together now for seven years and I've been knowing him since I'm 19. But, you know, we got married last year. So it was a little different. So it's like, you know, I really make good money. I have a good job and I just want him to be on the same path as I am. Because, you know, sometimes as partners, you know, you kind of grow apart. And, you know, trying to discuss a business move with him or, hey, how can we do this? How can we do that? It's like, I don't know. You know, he wants to bring in the boys in the hood. And I'm like, you know, every blessing is not for everybody. You can't grab everybody in the hood. Can I I just give you some? Yes, sir. I'm taking notes. (laughs) You fucked up. Why? Listen. Look, I'm about to leave it. Look, okay, anybody go. on live, look, I need you to do a matchmaking thing because you're good with that. So listen. <laughs> listen. I ain't listen. cheating, but Because listen, even y'all been together seven years. Yeah. It ain't like he just started this shit. He been doing this shit. Hold on. He's okay. been doing this shit for seven years. Going down to the block, kicking it with his homies, standing out there, drinking. Yeah. Okay. So after the first six years of him doing this, you married them. Yeah. And you make the most money. Absolutely. Out of the world. Not to toot my own horn. Okay. No, no. Congratulations. (laughs) Um, You get a divorce. Guess who's paying? He done reversed the game on you. <laughs> Get that out nigga's of a player. <laughs> he reversed the game on you. You can't be mad because women do it all the time. They get with a nigga that got more money than them. They marry him. And then it's like, okay, nigga, I get a divorce, nigga. Mm. You're going to be goddamn. You're going to have to break that goddamn bread off. Oh, no. Guess what? You get a divorce. How many cars you got? You giving up one of them. <laughs> oh, my. So that's the case in the state of Maryland. I know each state 